Always set the bar. Know what you want. All that nigga, Captain Hook. Ay, I go shopping. Mm, want it, then I cop it. Ay, yeah, bitches popping. Mm, I do what they copy. Ay, look, he's a sweetie. Mm, kiss it when he eat it. Ay, yeah, know it's good. Ay, chewing. Ay, singing. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Everything Tay. If you are new to my channel, welcome in. If you are not new, welcome back, loves. Thanks for tuning in with your girl. So today on this video, I have something that I need. All you ladies, I need y'all tuned in. I need y'all undivided attention, okay? All ears, all ears. Hello, I need y'all here, right here with me. Okay, so today on this video, I'm basically going to put y'all ladies on game, okay? I'm going to give y'all some of this news you can use, okay? Thank me later. Before we get into this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe if you have not, click that notification bell to stay notified every time I drop some of this tea. So welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Get you a notepad, get all that, cause y'all gonna need to suck up this game. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, but y'all, for real. So let's go ahead and get into this so, video. 10 red flags, basically 10 warning signs that I want you ladies to notice and avoid when you see these signs and when he's acting like these signs and when you see this sign avoid him block him girl block him put him on a block list period quick fast it's too many men out here to be stressing over one to be working yourself up over one to be worrying about why he haven't texted you back is he do he got a girlfriend like it's so many things that us women we tend to worry about when we dealing with somebody new instead of just sitting back relaxing and just keeping it playing just seeing how things play out sometimes you just have to like sit back and just see how it's gonna play out don't even put too much pressure on them because you shouldn't even have to put no pressure on a man anyway when he wants you okay because like i mentioned before in my last videos we are the catch we don't do no chasing we don't do all the extra stuff as a man if he want to talk to you you should know that he's feeling you if you thinking all this stuff and got some going through so many emotions and y'all just met he's not the one for you cut him off okay so let's get into these signs because i know y'all like girl we're going to do the signs right now, right now. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so first red flag is when you are dealing with somebody new, you know, y'all liking each other, whatever. Y'all got, you got his number, whatever the case may be. Y'all texting, y'all talking. He only texts you back at a certain time. He only answered the phone at a certain time. Or he only calls you at a certain time every day. Or every time y'all talk. It's always at a certain time when you y'all can text all day long but hey it's seven o'clock eight o'clock nine o'clock ain't no more text until the next day until he want to say good morning beautiful or whatever okay at the end of the day that is a sign ladies don't ignore these signs that is a sign cut him off block him like you too cute for that block him you you wondering in your mind like dang so does that thought come in your mind like dang it seems like he only texts me back certain times or call me at the same time he ain't for you as soon as that come up in your head he's not for you because he either got let me just tell you right now sis he either got another woman or he's not interested in you like that so keep it moving block him block him black game is strong over here it's about to be a new year you you ain't got time for that okay so red flag number two he can't go anywhere in public with you. When you do want to do something or have plans, make plans, y'all make plans, you know, throughout the week for the weekend or whatever the case may be. And it seems like he never wants to link up in public. Baby, cut him off. He don't want to be seen with you because he ain't trying to get caught up, okay? Either that or he just don't find you attractive like that. It got to be something. Cut him off because after the first or second time, you shouldn't even be... Worried about why y'all can't link up in public anyway. It's no, it's not even an explanation for that. Just cut him off. He's not for you. Find another boo boo. Okay. Number three, he always talking about his past relationships. Okay, ladies, if you get with a man, let me stop throwing this phone around like that. Okay. I'm gonna be professional. Okay, ladies, so if you are talking to a man and y'all out on a date or whatever, y'all first date, second date, y'all chilling, whatever the case may be. And he always seems to bring up his past relationships, past 
um, his past relationship, things that ha has happened in his past, that's a red flag to me because I feel like he's still not healed all the way from his past relationship. He still want to work it out with that person. He still have feelings for that person. He's still liking that person. Whatever the case may be, you are the new boo. You are the new one that he was trying to get up, get to know. So if a man instead of bringing a pastor, he's not for you. He's not done healing. At the end of the day, he's really like trying to talk to you to get over that. Like, cut it off. It's not for you. It's not healthy. You don't want to take yourself through that. Just cut him and his bullshit off. Okay. Number three. Number three. A man that's not consistent. If you're dealing with someone new and he's already been inconsistent in the beginning, why would you want a relationship with somebody like that? Like, sis, why would you want to deal with an inconsistent man? When people be like, so what do you look for in a man? The number one thing most women say is I want someone who is consistent. So if you, y'all just start dating, just start dealing with each other. And he's already so inconsistent to the point where it's just like, dang, like, why is he so inconsistent? Girl, it's only going to frustrate you in the long run. Cut it off. Find somebody else that's going to be consistent. That's going to, you know, check on you. Call you. Make sure you ate today. Make sure you are right. Like, not, oh, what's up? Late at night, you know, like, damn, nigga. You know what? We ain't finna get into all that. Cut it off. Throw it away. Block it. Bye. Okay, red flag number four, a man who don't know how to hold a conversation. Like, <sighs> that is a big one for me. Like, I'm the type of person that I love to talk. I love to have conversations. I'm very open-minded. I just love when I'm getting to know somebody, I love to just really just vibe with them you know just connect like see what we got in common get to know that person right so y'all i kid you not if you are trying to talk to me not just me a woman period and you don't have no conversation like that's not only a red flag that's a turn off and i know some ladies be like but what if he's shy what if he just nervous at the end of the day, we too old for it. Okay, yeah, you can be shy and nervous, but for you to have so much to say in a text message, but don't know how to say nothing when we on the phone or when we in person, don't know, you know, everything feels like it's forced when I'm trying to have a conversation with you. What if we get together and we trying to, I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to start a business and, or I need you to handle some business side of, and you don't even know how to have a conversation with nobody, like. Bye. On to the next. Ain't nobody got time for that. Red flag number five. A man that is never on time for nothing. Like, y'all always planning stuff. And he always got you there super late. Never on time. We always got to wait to the last minute. Or when it's late at night. Like, that is just too much. That's annoying. As a woman, I know we complain sometimes a lot about a lot of things. But... That is so annoying to me. Like, I do not want to deal with no man that can never be on time for anything. I'm talking about anything, nothing. Like, even when we go on dates or if I don't pay for something for us to do or if we really just book something for us to do that's really nice. We've been talking about it, but we can't even go to it because we are an hour or 45 minutes late or, you know, you're not going to be able to come because you're running behind doing this and that when you already know we had plans and all that. I hate men like that. Inconsistent. Period. I forgot what number I'm on. I'm just going to keep you. <laughs> I'm just going to keep listing these. I ain't going to number them no more because I don't forgot. Okay? So, y'all bear with me. A sign that you need to know when you're dealing with a man that gets mad over everything. Like, y'all just met... He gets mad at everything. He gets mad if you speak to your homeboys, if a, somebody asking you a question. He's very jealous. Very, very jealous, man. Like, that's a red flag to me. Because I feel like I don't want no jealous man in my life. Like, if you're just too jealous, like, I can't even do this. I can't do anything without you getting mad. Who sis, run. He crazy. He ain't for you. He gonna always want to argue. And fuss and 
put you down because you're not making him happy or doing what he wants you to do. Get out of there. Don't talk to him. Put him on a block list. <laughs> okay, another sign that I feel like you should avoid when it comes to dating these men, child. I know a lot of ladies have been through this because I done been through this myself. So, you know when you meet a man and y'all only been texting and talking for maybe like a week. And I'm saying a week because this really has happened to me, y'all. Like, I kid you not. Okay, so y'all only been talking for a week. And he's coming on too strong, too hard, too fast. And when I say that, I say that meaning to say he already want to meet my mama. He want to take me out of town. He want to, he just want to do, he already in love, acting like he in love with me. And he don't even know my real name. Like, he don't even know. I ain't gonna say my real name, but he don't even know really nothing about me. But you know, like the man that you mean is like, dang, he he want to do this, this, that. I, you know, a man that's just all talk. He want to do this, telling you he want to meet your family. Like I feel like that's crazy energy, okay? That's crazy. Like for you don't want to meet my mama, and you ain't even been talking. To, we ain't even talking for two weeks, not even ninety days. Like he crazy, y'all. Block him. He is crazy. He gonna do something real strange because, yeah, I kid you not, I met a man and we was only literally texting maybe like three or four days after like the fifth day. Kid you not, we haven't even went on a date yet. He's like, oh my God, like I love, I like you so much. Like I want, I want you to meet my mama. I'm like, what? Like he wanted me, my mama. I'm like, nah, this man is crazy. It's more to this because. I know I'm not the only girl he done met, and I already want me to meet his mama. I'm his top mama tired of meeting bitches. <laughs> anyway, y'all, cut him off, especially if a man, he moving too fast, too hard. That's like, that's crazy. That's just crazy to me. So another sign that I feel like you should not avoid is when you're dealing with somebody new, and a man that tells you he don't want a relationship right now, like... Okay, honestly, you probably don't want a relationship either because you're trying to get to know him. So, at the, but eventually, you want to you want to meet someone that you can see yourself dating in the future, right? Okay, so if he just tell you like, "Oh, I like you, but I don't want a relationship with you," that's kind of like a red flag to me because that's telling me like, "Oh, you just want to play games." You like me, but you don't like me that much to wanna to see me in your future. You don't see me going far with you. You just see me for the moment. Like, I don't know. I just feel like that that goes with just like wasted time. Like he playing too many games. You like me. You wanna do all this stuff with me. So I can eventually like start really liking you, but you don't want a relationship. So you can continue to do what you wanna do and have your cake and eat it too. Which is fine, but you don't want. Me, but I, you know, I gotta sit back and sit back and just rock with you. Like it don't work like that, ladies. That's a red flag. If you're dealing with a man, you know, y'all just start talking. Of course, y'all ain't gonna be together right away. Of course, you gotta feel a man and get to know each other. But if he from the jump just be like, yeah, um, you know, after y'all done went on a couple of days and did things, and you like, okay, yeah, he liking me, and he finally just be, and he tells you like. You like you cool, but I don't want a relationship with you. Like, what the fuck? Like, okay, so what are we doing? Are we just gonna be friends? You gotta you gotta set the motherfucking Y'all ladies on lower y'all standards for these men. Y'all have to set the bar from the jump. Set the bar from the jump when it comes to these men. If you don't if you don't set the bar, he gonna play with you. He gonna play with you and try to see. What he can get away with. Sis, so y'all got to be strong. And y'all got to set these standards and let them know you ain't playing. You're not the one to play with. I don't, I don't play games. That's for kids, okay? Let him know. You got to go play them games down the street with sis. Because over here, us queens, we don't get down like that. Okay, y'all. So, I don't want this video to be too long. I hope I covered all the questions. But I do have one more question that I feel like is very, very, like, important when it comes to, like, dating, Okay? Or talking to someone new or whatever the case may be. I don't know about y'all, but I stay in Dallas, Texas. It's a super, super big city. So, you know, I've met a lot of men that just got out of recent marriages and recent relationships. Like, I tend to always 
run into the most nice looking dudes, but they always just got out of a relationship or just got out of a marriage. I'd be like, what? <sighs> Every time I think I'm liking somebody and we start talking, oh, I just recently got divorced or I just recently got in a relationship. Like, <sighs> that kills me. But anyway, this next question. So, if he just got divorced or recently just got out of a relationship, ladies, and he tells you, I'm not ready for nothing serious, but I want to see where it goes with you. You not ready for nothing serious, but you want to see where it goes with me. What kind of shit is it? <laughs> Please explain to me what they mean because y'all need to drop some comments below. I need to know what this means. I'm not ready for nothing serious, but I want to see where it goes with you. Hmm. Do I look like a game? Like... You're not ready for nothing serious, but you want to string me along and play with me and take your mind off of what you just went through when you really just need to be by yourself, you know, get used to being by yourself since you just got out of a serious relationship or a serious marriage and heal. But you want to play. Mm. Y'all, I'm through. I'm through with the, I'm through. Drop some comments below, girls. Men, we got to talk. <laughs> I just feel like that is so crazy. Like, <sighs> that completes this video. I hope y'all don't avoid these signs that I just gave y'all. I hope I could, you know, y'all sucked up this game, ladies. I do want to say before I end this video, I always set the bar. Know what you want. Don't let no man take advantage of you, play with you, get you out of character. Play with your feelings, hurt you, none of that. If a man can't take you out on a date, want to really just get to know you, he's not for you. As a woman, we want a man that want to take us out on a date. You find you a man and you like, I don't want to know, whatever. The day, I ain't saying the date got to be spending a whole bunch of money. No, a date can be anything. You can really go take a walk in the park and just spend some quality time and get to know what somebody mind it. You know what I'm saying? So, ladies, don't let these men get in y'all head. Y'all got to be smarter than that. Know what you want. Set the standards from the beginning. Know your work. Knowing your work is everything. If y'all know your work, y'all don't need to be in no relationship, looking for no relationship, none of that. You should know your work. Apply some pressure when you're dealing with me because if you're not applying pressure... How you gonna want me to apply some pressure as your boo, as your girl, as your woman, as your lady, as your queen? Like, stop playing with me. Don't let these men play with y'all. It's gonna be 2021. Know your worth, ladies. Know your worth. Give me a thumbs up on this video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. I will be back. It's your girl, everything. Hey.